Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at conservation of energy in the context of heat for the properties of matter topic. So let's get into it. Now conservation of energy is seen several times throughout the National 5 Physics course and in this case we're going to be talking about it in terms of heat and heat transfer. So something you might have seen before in the dynamics topic for example is the conservation of energy, known as the principle of conservation of energy or the law of conservation of energy. So it says here that the principle or law of conservation of energy says that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can change from one form to another. In this section we often have an electrical heater being used to heat materials. If we assume that all of the energy from the electrical heater goes into heating the material and none is lost to the surroundings, then we can write the following. EH equals PT equals CM delta T. So notice that what we've done here is we've equated two different energy equations together. So E equals PT, remember, is from the electricity topic and you'll probably have come across it before in the form of P equals E divided by T, power equals energy over time, as opposed to written in this way. But all we've done is rearranged it in terms of energy and we've got energy equals power times time. And in this case, because we're often dealing with heat energy, we're using EH. So EH equals PT is also equal to CM delta T because we already know the equation for specific heat capacity is EH equals CM delta T. So we've got these two energy equations equated to each other. But remember, this is assuming that no energy is lost to the surroundings. We're assuming that all of the heat energy from the heater is going into heating the material, which is often not the case in real life situations. Note that if a question does not give you the power but instead gives you the current and voltage of an appliance, remember that power equals current times the voltage, i.e. P equals IV from the electricity topic, so the above could be written as EH equals ITV, where all we've done there is replace the P in this equation with IV from P equals IV, and this is also equal to CM delta T. So this is just another way of equating these two expressions ever given the current and voltage and time in a question. Alternatively, you could use one equation to calculate energy and then use your answer for energy in a different energy equation to find some other quantity. So instead of equating two energy equations together, you could actually just do one equation, find the energy and then plug your answer in to the other energy equation that you're going to use. So if you think it's going to be too confusing to equate two energy equations to begin with, then just go for calculating the two energies separately. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.